Welcome to Mayhem CDH, where questionable decks meet questionable pilots. For this week, we have last week's pod returning for a revenge game. Something about dying to bolt. I don't know. With that being said, let's check out the pod today. First, we have Jack on Kess Turbo Nas, which seeks to resolve ad nauseum and win with a combo finish. Noah on Malcolm Bruce Tarl Pirates of America, a Jeskai mid-range combo deck that seeks to accrue value with its commanders in order to assemble a win con through Glenhorn Buccaneer or Underworld Breach. Kaelin on Existential Crisis, a graveyard storm deck that uses its commander as a setup and payoff. And finally, Evan on Kyrick Black Hole Sun, a mono black storm deck that uses its life with Crick's ability to win with a combo. And now, with each pilot in their respective corner of the screen, let us begin. Jack draws and puts a watery grave into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a soul ring. Jack passes. Noah draws and plays a mox opal. He plays an arid mesa. Noah also passes. Kalen draws and puts a blood crypt into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a soul ring of his own. He follows it up with a mox opal, mana crypt, jeweled lotus, and felwar stone. He casts his commander, Extus, Auric Overlord. He casts Imperial Seal. In response, Noah cracks Aaron Mesa, paying life and fetching up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts Miscast, countering Imperial Seal. With a blazing turn one in the books, Kalen passes. Evan draws and casts a Zuranord. He plays a Reliquary Tower for turn. He follows it up with a Mana Crypt and a Soul Ring. He casts a turn one Crick, son of Yogmoth. With the blue decks at the table feeling the pressure, Evan passes. Jack draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, paying a life and fetching up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts Bergy, God of Storytelling. Jack passes. Noah draws and plays a Volcanic Island. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Red Elemental Blast. He casts his commander, Malcolm, Keen Eye Navigator. Noah passes. At the beginning of his upkeep, Kalen wins his Mana Crypt trigger. He draws and plays a Sarah Ascendant. He moves to combat and attacks Evan with Extus. Evan takes it, and Kalen passes the turn. At the beginning of his upkeep, Evan wins his Mana Crypt trigger. He draws and plays a Crystal Vein for turn. He casts Peer into the Abyss, targeting himself. Crick triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. In response, Jack casts Brainstorm, adding a red through Bergy. He draws three and puts two back on top. Still in response, Noah casts Fierce Guardianship, countering Peer into the Abyss. A bit bummed out, Evan passes. Jack draws and plays a Marsh Flats. He cracks it, paying a life, and fetching up an underground sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Talisman of Creativity, adding a red through Bergy. He casts Rite of Flame, adding a red through Bergy. He casts his commander, Kess, Dissident Mage, adding a red through Bergy. He recasts Rite of Flame, adding a red through Bergy. He casts Windfall, adding a red through Bergy. In response, Evan casts Mausoleum Secrets. Crick triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. He searches up a Gravecrawler into his hand and shuffles. Windfall resolves and everyone discards their hand and draws three cards. Jack casts Dragon's Rage Channeler, adding a red through Bergy. With nothing else, Jack passes to Noah. Noah draws and casts a Lotus Petal. He casts his other commander, Bruce Tarl, Boorish Herder. It enters and gives Malcolm double strike and lifelink. Noah moves to combat and attacks Evan for four. Evan takes it and Noah creates two treasure tokens through Malcolm. In his second main phase, Noah casts Ponder. He looks at the top three, doesn't like what he sees, shuffles, and draws. Noah plays a Marsh Flats for turn. He cracks it, paying a life, and fetching up a Hollowed Fountain into play untapped, paying two life. Noah passes. At the beginning of his upkeep, Kalen wins his Mana Crypt trigger. He draws and plays a Scrubland for turn. He casts a Mana Vault. He follows it up with a Grand Abolisher. Kalen moves to combat and attacks Evan for six. Evan takes it, and Kalen passes the turn. At the beginning of Evan's upkeep, Evan wins his Mana Crypt trigger. He draws and casts a Sensei's Divining Top. In response, Jack pays two life and casts Mental Misstep, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling through Channeler. Top is countered, and Evan follows it up with a Liliana of the Veil. Crick triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. Liliana resolves, and Evan upticks her, making each player discard a card. Evan follows it up with a final parting. Crick triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. He searches for a card into his hand and a Grey Merchant of Asphodel into his graveyard and shuffles. Evan moves to combat and attacks Kaelin with Crick. Kaelin blocks with Grand Abolisher, and Evan passes. Jack draws and casts a Ponder, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling through Channeler. 
He looks at the top three, rearranges, and draws. He recasts Ponder, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling through Channeler. He looks at the top three again, rearranges, and draws. He casts Phantasmal Image, adding a red through Bergy. Phantasmal Image enters as a copy of Sarah Ascended. Jack moves to combat and attacks Liliana for three. Liliana is knocked to one, and Jack passes. Noah draws and immediately moves to combat. He swings Malcolm at Kaelin and Bruce Tarl at Evan. Bruce triggers and gives Malcolm double strike and lifelink. Both take the hits, and Noah creates two treasure tokens through Malcolm. In his second main phase, Noah casts Wheel of Fortune. It resolves, and everyone discards their hand and draws seven cards. Noah follows it up by paying two life to cast Gitaxian Probe, targeting Jack. He looks at Jack's hand and draws. He plays a Misty Rainforest for turn. He cracks it, paying a life, and fetching up an island onto the battlefield. He casts an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. In response, Jack casts Pact of Negation, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling with Channeler. Cyclonic Rift is countered, and Noah passes. Kalen draws and plays a Windswept Heath for turn. Kalen loses his Mana Crypt trigger. He casts a Bergy, God of Storytelling. He casts a Jeska's Will, targeting Evan, adding a red through Bergy. Extus triggers and returns Grand Abolisher to Kalen's hand. Kalen adds 7 red and reveals a Ragavan Nimble Pilfer, Swords to Plowshares, and Doom Whisperer into exile. He casts Dragon's Rage Channeler, adding a red through Bergy. He casts Ragavan Nimble Pilfer, adding a red through Bergy. He cracks Windswept Teeth, paying a life, and fetching up a plateau onto the battlefield. He casts Past in Flames, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling with Channeler. He recasts Jessica's Will, targeting Evan, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling with Channeler. He reveals Red Elemental Blast, Cloudstone Curio, and Scalding Tarn into exile. He casts Doom Whisper, adding a red through Bergy. Kalen moves to combat and attacks Evan with Sarah Ascendant and Extus. Evan takes it and dies. In his second main phase, Kalen casts Cloudstone Curio, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling with Channeler. He casts Swords to Plowshares, targeting Phantasmal Image, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling with Channeler. Phantasmal Image triggers and is sacrificed. Kalen follows it up with a Red Elemental Blast, targeting Kess, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling with Channeler. Kess is sent to the command zone, and Kalen passes. At the beginning of his upkeep, Jack is kindly reminded by Noah of his pack trigger, which he pays. Jack draws and casts a Lotus Petal, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling with Channeler. He casts a Mox Diamond, adding a red through Bergy, surveilling with Channeler, and discarding a land as it enters. He plays a Verdant Catacombs for turn. He cracks it, paying a life, and fetching up a Swamp onto the battlefield. He casts Ad Nauseam, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling with Channeler. Ad Nauseam resolves, and Jack reveals a Gamble, Mizix's Mastery, Tainted Pact, Simeon Spirit Guide, Grim Monolith, Flooded Strand, Muddle the Mixture, Reanimate, Peer into the Abyss, Force of Negation, Wheel of Fortune, Grinding Station, and decides to stop there. Jack exiles Simeon Spirit Guide, adding a red. He casts Mana Vault, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling with Channeler. He casts Grim Monolith, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling with Channeler. He casts Gamble, adding a red through Bergy and surveilling with Channeler. He fetches up a card into his hand and discards a card at random, which is Mizix's Mastery. He casts Dockside Extortionist, adding a red through Bergy. It enters and Jack creates eight treasures. He transmutes Muddle the Mixture, searching up a Thassa's Oracle into his hand. He casts Thassa's Oracle, adding a red through Bergy. In response, Kalen pays two life to activate Doom Whisperer, surveilling two. He activates Doom Whisperer again, surveilling two. Kalen activates Doom Whisperer one more time, surveilling two. Then, Thassa's Oracle resolves. With Thassa's Oracle's ETB trigger on the stack, Jack casts Tainted Pact. Jack exiles all the cards in his library. With a Thassa's Oracle trigger resolving, the table sees the writing on the wall, and Jack wins the game. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to catch future videos, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.